So, okay, guys, today we will discuss about linking words for our speaking word list and tips. We'll be using the linking words for the IELTS speaking, like uh, what kind of words are there that are used in the IELTS speaking. As you know, if we talk about IELTS writing, there are many words which are used, like moreover, furthermore, additionally, in addition, or uh, some different words. Which mistake we commonly make that we try to insert the same words in speaking as well, but make sure speaking is not same as that of writing. In the same way, speaking is having the different words and different tips. So let's discuss. All right. So first of all, when you want to add more information, for example, our, uh, we are speaking about a topic and we want to add more information in something, then what words we use? And also, as well as, and another reason is. These are the four words which are only used to add more information. Nowhere else. Next thing, time phrases. For example, if we want to talk about time, we want to talk about present, we want to talk about past, we talk, want to talk about uh, future. Future is very rare case. Normally, we do discuss about the past or present because mostly questions are based on these two tenses only. So we use the phrases like now, at the moment, at present, right now, these days, nowadays, these kind of words are there that we use for the present. And if we move to the right side, these phrases are for the past. Like in the past, before, then, at that time, years ago, when I was younger. These are the time phrases for the present and for the past. Present, left one, past, right one. Let's move to the next. Uh, suppose if we want to express our ideas, then how would we use? I think one important thing is dash dash dash. Means, I think, mujhe rakta hai, that one important thing is dash dash dash. Uh, there is one important thing and that is dash, whatever we want to tell. I guess one difference is dash. I suppose the main difference between X and Y is dash. So whenever we want to express our ideas, if we are using these phrases, it seems very natural. I think, I guess, I suppose. If we are using these things, it would create a positive impact upon the examiner. Or in this way, we can express our ideas. Next one. If they are asking us about some problem and uh, we are asked about causes and solutions, then how would we use I guess it's because of dash, dash, dash. The main reason is it was caused by dash. Because obviously to start a reason as we use in the writing, I suppose the best way to deal with this problem is dash, dash, dash. I reckon the only answer is to dash, dash, dash. Recon, recon is used for the think only and recon is informal word. It can be used for the speaking, but make sure this word should not be used for the writing. The best way to solve this is dash. So uh, first four phrases are there. These are for causes. And last four phrases are there for solutions. Sorry, last three phrases are there for solutions. So in this way, we can talk about causes and solutions. Next one, giving examples. We can use words, for example, for instance, such as, or like. Uh, one thing you have to be sure, it's not like anywhere we can use any word. There are certain cases where we have to use, for example, there are certain cases where we have to use like. This thing also we'll discuss further. Now, being clear, suppose you think that you have got distracted from the topic or uh, examiner is not satisfied with your answer or uh, something like uh, 
uh, you got out of track. Suddenly you remember, I have to stay on the topic. Or if you feel examined from the expression of the examiner that you are going out, out of track or he is thinking that you are going out of track and you want to clear your point, you want to clarify your point and that way you will use. What I mean is cash. What I want to say is cash. As I was saying, cash. So these three phrases are there, which you can use to clear your point, or I would say to clarify your point. Now, let's move to the next. Contrasting and concessions. Contrasting and concession means we are supporting one side. We have given um, the example. We have explained our point clearly, but we have support of another point of view as well. For example, if I'm discussing about the merits of technology. I think it's very beneficial. It saves our time and this and that. I have given some example as well. But I think there are demerits as well. There is a kind of, there is a, a contrasting point also in my mind. So how would I start it? But on the other hand, while, although, or so. Make sure if you are not supporting it or if you are not supporting the site, for example, they have asked you, do you think that technology's uh, advantages outweigh disadvantages? Just like this, it's your question. You are supporting advantages. You have uh, given first point, you have explained it. You have given second point, you have explained it. And then you want to highlight a disadvantage. You will say, but technology has certain demerits. For example, it, uh, it kills our precious time or uh, uh, you can say that uh, hackers are there, they hack websites or sometimes a fake information is there or sometimes the unreliable information is there. I have explained three points, but you don't have to go for three. You will only go with one point. Why? Because we are not supporting the site and the site which we are not supporting, we have to discuss only one point of that, not more than that. I hope you are clear with it now. Now we'll use examples of linking words in speaking. So far we have covered that what type of linking words are there, which could be used for the speaking. And now we will learn about its usage. So let's move. Do you think fast food is bad? Answer, yes, I do. If it's eaten too often, it can cause problems such as heart disease or diabetes. Also, it can lead to weight problems, which are fairly common nowadays. So uh, just notice that what kind of linking words are there that we have used in this. The first one is such as, the second one is also. You could use such as or for example, in this sentence, because the content is more serious, please note that we don't use furthermore or in addition for speaking. Instead, we use also or and. Furthermore or in addition, these are very typical terms, very, very formal language. So in speaking, make sure we don't have to be very formal, we have to be neutral. These kind of words, furthermore, in addition, these are not convertible in our language. So always avoid these words and use simple words such as this, such as, also, and, or, like. Let's move to the next slide now. Do you eat much fruit? Yes, I do. I love tropical fruit like mangoes and pineapples. Now here, I have used two linking words. The first is like and the second is and. We would not use, for example, in this type of sentence, which relates to our everyday life. Uh, in the previous question, here we can use such as, we can use, for example, any. Why? Because the content is more serious or the content is somewhat a fact, right? 
But if we are using it in a very simple form, if we are using it something, if we are telling something related to our everyday life, <laughs> then we can use like or and. We have to use like, we cannot use for example, or we don't need to use such as even. Now, let's move to the next. Do children play similar games today that we played in the past? No, I don't think they do. Before, children used to play simple games like hide and seek, or they used to play with simple handmade toys. But these days, Kids tend to prefer computer games and their toys are battery operated. Let's read this answer again. No, I don't think they do. They're asking basically two things in the past. Uh, two things in the question. The one is about the present and the one is about the past. So, no, I don't think they do. Before, before means we're talking about the past. Children used to play simple games. Example, the like hide and seek or they used to play with simple handmade toys. But now I have moved from past to prison. These days, kids tend to prefer computer games and their toys are battery operated. Now, this answer contained time phrases for past and present, before and these days. Before is used for the past, these days is used for the present. It also had an example like this one, like hide and seek. Like is a main example, linking word for speaking and it can be repeated. In speaking, linking words can be repeated as many times as you want. It's not writing, it's speaking. Make sure. This answer also uses contrasting linking word, but. But is a main contrasting linking word in speaking and can be repeated many times. Just like, uh, like is a, which can be repeated many times in the same way, but is a, which can be repeated many times. So, do not worry about using different linking words when you are doing speaking. You can use the same so that it looks natural. So now let's move to the next. Mistakes with linking words and speaking. What kind of physically mistakes are there? Let's read the question. Do you like going out with friends? Yes, I do. Firstly, it gives me a chance to relax. Secondly, I can catch up on the news. Last but not least, it allows me the opportunity to go to different places. It's not clear, something is missing. Basically, it allows me the opportunity to go to new places or to go to different places. So just read firstly, secondly, last but not least. We are talking about the points over here. He did not tell, uh, yes, I like to go out with friends because of three reasons. No. So basically, there is no sequence. There is no list. In case if a listing is there, in case if a sequencing is there, only then we use firstly, secondly, last but not least. For example, they are asking us, what do you think are the reasons of global warming? Uh, I guess there are three mainly uh, three main factors are responsible for the global warming. The first one is deforestation. Trees are being cut at an excessive pace, and that is the reason it leads to or it's creating carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and which is warming the atmosphere to a great extent. Secondly, uh, the second factor comes is transportation. Um, smoke emitted from uh, the vehicles. It's spread into the atmosphere and uh, pollutes or and contaminates oxygenated air, right? Thirdly, uh, human activities, I believe, are uh, majorly responsible for this uh, because scientists conduct nuclear tests from time to time and uh, this pollutes the environment or it creates a smoke and when the smoke enters the atmosphere, it pollutes the environment. 
So basically, this is the kind of the listing. In that, we will explain first of all, secondly, thirdly. But do you like going out with friends? It's not having anything which is related to listing. So how will we use it? Yes, I do. It's great being able to chill out and catch up with their news. Uh, I'm reading this line again. It's very good that you can use in your speaking as well. Yes, I do. It's great being able to chill out and catch up with your news. Also, we often go out to new places, which I really enjoy. So basically, these kind of mistakes are there, which are used to the, uh, which are there in the linking words and speaking. This was the today's session. Now, just let me know what doubt you have one by one. Whatever uh, doubts you have, just let me know in the chat box. We'll clear all doubts today. Uh, doesn't see on their news means about them. This is a phrase that we use on their news, like on their uh, news, you can say on their updations that what's going in their lives, everything. For example, I'm saying I want to meet my friend so that I can come on, uh, I can catch up on their news or I can catch up on her news, means so that I can come to know that what's going on in her life. This is basically a phrase that we can use. Any other doubt to anyone else? Any other doubt to anyone else? You can even use this thing in your speaking that I come to know on their uh, news. Reckon, uh, Sandeep, reckon means think, believe. Reckon is in formal word that can be used or that should be used only for the speaking that should not be used for the writing. Anybody else, any doubt? All right, no doubt is there. And one more thing, basically what I have observed, many students are there who are having the problem of fluency. So tomorrow we will work on the technique to improve your fluency part. How you can improve it and afterwards you will get a 10 day challenge to improve your fluency part but what's there let's make it a bit uh, suspense and we'll discuss it tomorrow i hope you are completely clear with it and in case if any doubt is there then you can contact me and clear whatever thing is there okay you will get its recording so that your all doubts could be clear and you can check it or you can watch it as many times as you want all right guys goodbye have a good day you're welcome okay bye